boom, boom, ba -do. Oh, where are you? There you are. Hello. Welcome back to Zelda 2. Again, Redux. The uh, fan-modified improved version as compared to the original NES game. Uh... There we go. And just because I didn't quite know how to save effectively. And we have save states anyway. Let's just do that to go right back to where we were. Uh, it's been a couple days since I last streamed this. Uh, Jack was off today. But uh, had last minute plans come up for Christmas Eve. So he's off with the family. I'll do uh, another, another stream of this. See how far I get. And we're planning to do a stream tomorrow. On Christmas Day. Once again, the boomerang men being the bane of my existence. So what happened last time? We got through the first temple pretty easily. Went to the second temple too early. I found it before I found the village with the life spell and spent way too long trying to do the second temple because I didn't, I didn't want to backtrack through the swamp. And now I have to find my way back to where I was, which is... What was I doing? There's that bridge over to Saria, and then the, I, I think I went south from Saria into a cave. And I came out of a cave onto a beach. Is this that beach? This is not that beach, but this is a new town. Mito. That's not one of the sages. Well, that begs the question of whether Mito is uh, some kind of significant character. The Yuletide Zelda stream. We have a prop. We actually had a proper, like, Christmas stream planned today. But something came up for Jack, so we'll hopefully be able to do it tomorrow, is the plan. Error, who lives in Ruto, has to know about the temples. Error didn't tell me shit. There must be something to do in this town, though. There's like a wizard in every town. The Isle Temple to the south. Okay, I could use a raft. Go through the second story to get to the basement, of course. You're not a wizard. Oh, you have one of the stabs. Hey, idiot, press down! Wow, that guy's a genius. Why didn't I ever think of that? That's gonna be very useful to have. Down thrust is a good thing to have in the kit. Was a three, uh, three wide town. Okay, you need medicine, which is probably in a cave somewhere. I know it's an item in this game. Cave in the Morouge Swamp. That's a proper name that doesn't come up in Zelda again. Morouge. Morouge. Oh, the rock came back. Graveyard down here. Again, I'm, I'm loosely familiar with 
the items in this game, various things about it. I've just never played through it personally. Okay. Guess that'll be important later. Uh Why did I do that? I didn't want to do life. Or, uh, jump. I'm a little bit down. I've been trying to get a, uh, I need to get a vocal demo. For, uh, singing made for my YouTube channel and I was planning to do the uh, the Grinch song because I had performed that before before I'm, I'm good at it but I, I can't get it to uh, I can't get a good sound on the microphone it'll sound good if you're in a room room with me but I can't get that to uh, pick up the way I want it to and I must have I must have been taken I must have taken five takes of it by now on five different days, and I just can't get anything, so I might have to choose a, choose a different song. Or figure out something. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I thought that was a new enemy, but that was two enemies stacked on top of one another. Alright, so this leads to a cave. What's special about this cave? Where does this go? Goes to a coast. Does this go to the Death Mountain Beach I was at? This looks like it. Octorok, no. Oh, that's right, I got downstabbed now. That's so nice. We just dance all over everything. Jump on their heads. Okay, okay, so this is the beach that I was- I left off at. I've been here before. Okay, so those trees are just decoration. There is nothing of significance there. Do you have any plans, Charles? Seems everyone I know is doing something. I'm, uh, I'm opting out this year. I still don't think it's a good idea to, uh, get together or anything. Boy, I don't like the- I don't like these graveyard eyes. Granted, I'm obviously terrible at fighting them. In unbelievably terrible. Is there anything here? Could really use some more magic now. Ever since the, uh... The bug house. I now have to, uh... I now have to check suspicious tiles. Comb the forest to see if there might be a hidden something or other. Which there does not seem to be. This, be this beach seems to just be a way through to the area I was just in. case. You know what? I don't have to deal with your boomerangs. I can just jump on you. I'll do that. That's way easier. 
Where did this go? I know that rock hole on the on the left had an item I already got inside of it. I don't remember if I explored all of these caves or not. This goes back into Death Mountain, so I don't think I want to go this way. But I will double check this one cave just to be extra sure. This just goes back into the maze. Okay. Let's not do this then. I am looking for medicine. Or, I guess, the, the water that is apparently in the swamp. And there's a temple with a raft south of the... south of Mido. The Kikiri names are recurring in Zelda, for one way or another, one reason or another. Uh, I think I mentioned during the Wind Waker stream. Oh, my internet dropped. So, hello YouTube. Twitch doesn't see me right now. I think I mentioned during the Wind Waker stream that uh, Fado was the name of the Kikiri Sage of the Wind? I think it was the Wind Temple. And it was the same name as one of the... One of the Kikiri girls in Ocarina. Actually, the only other named one besides Saria. Come to think of it, that seems like uh, that seems like an opportunity for a naming scheme that didn't pan out. Because you had Mido and uh, Fado. You'd have Domo or Dodo, Do Re Mi, Dodo, Rado, Soto. Ah, uh, south of the town, there's a temple. I guess I'll go south of the town. And if there's nothing there, then I'll go check out the swamp. That's what I'll do. There's nothing south of the town. I mean, there is over that way, but I don't think I can get over that way yet. I love that. I love having the life spell. It's so much nicer than not having the life spell. So there's the temple, and here's the eyes. Which seem to have, the temple seems to have a cave going to it. And no obvious way to get to a cave from here. So, off to the swamp. That's the swamp. And there's some kind of, some kind of magic water here. The unintentional swamp theme. Time to comb.
because everything was going to be uh, closed on Christmas, I got a big, uh, a big batch of Chinese food to last me a few days. And it turned out to not be very good Chinese food. Usually it's good at the place I go to. It's the only... One of the few... I think the only sit-down Chinese place in Battleground. They must have just had an off day. So now I'm stuck with... Uh, I'm stuck with bad Chinese food for three days. I also have some rations in the pantry. When when Trump became president, they were selling. Uh, no, what? It wasn't the presidency. It was. It was. I think it was part of the virus. It was the virus related. They started selling uh, like emergency food, MREs. That's what they're called at the local grocery store. And Jack and I each bought one, thinking it would be a funny thing to try on stream, and we just never did. So they're, they're sitting in the pantry. Yeah, I'll get a defense boost, I guess. This is just an inconvenience, really. The swamp enemies are not a threat. This is a joke of an encounter. I just gotta remember what I was doing on the overworld for after the encounter. I keep retreading the same ground again. Oh, hello. Oh, it was just magic? Is that it? What is that cave up there? That's not nothing, is it? I bet I've been to this cave. And this looks familiar, but I, I kind of want to be sure. Chat is back, but we are still reconnecting to the stream. Yeah, I've been here already. I think this was like a magic container. Bowser Cord had a discussion about Zelda and Ganon today. Apropos of nothing, it just kind of happened. And, uh, apparently, I learned there was exactly one game in which Ganon was reincarnated into, like, an, a new a new person, and was not just the same dude. Which he is across all the other games. It's always the same Ganon. And a new Link in Zelda. But, uh, apparently in Four Swords Adventures, he is, in fact, reincarnated. Reincarnated. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be upset if I'm just combing the swamp for nothing, if I'm doing completely the wrong thing. Nope. Can't spawn on paths. It 
It is entirely possible. I do, do not know this game. Okay, the stream is back. Welcome back. My internet just crapped out. Swamp so long, I'm losing to the Octoroks now. You gotta move so painfully slow in the swamp, too. And we're red again. What is going on with my internet? Maybe this part of the swamp. Or maybe I should just look it up. I have no schoolyard chums with which to discuss our latest findings in Zelda 2. As I've stated before, that was just kind of the des design philosophy of the NES era. Is that there were often parts that were meant to be obtuse, you were meant to stumble upon. And it would encourage you to talk to other people who had the game, to find out what, what each person had found this day or that day. And that's just how people kind of completed games before the internet. It's also how a lot of uh, nonsense rumors about games spread about. Pokemon being a infamous example. L is real. The Triforce in Ocarina. I wonder why that era of games are the most remembered for, uh, nonsense rumors. I get, I guess it was, it, it was because it was the very early days of the internet, was the late 90s. So there was a sort of, uh, there was a sort of plausibility to, uh, people having information that maybe you didn't have access to, like maybe they had internet access. Well, that was not useful. It was just a magic file. Boy, I chose the wrong time to stream. My internet went kaput just as soon as I started. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe I did the wrong thing in the swamp. Maybe there was, uh... Nope, there was no hidden tile. Even, I can't even look it up now because my internet is down. Oh, hello, there's a... There's a boulder there. I forgot about that. Maybe that goes somewhere new. I'll bet it does. Just gotta trudge all the way back out to find out. The only difference between the big and the small encounters in the swamp is that the big ones have birds. I wonder if there's a name for those birds, if those are supposed to be the same ones that uh, appear in later games, like the, the Gueys or whatever. Speaking of, also planning a uh, Ocarina of Time randomizer sometime in the, in the near future. That and uh, Rayman Redemption are going to be solo streams. Which I was wait I was hoping that uh, 
Rayman Redemption would have its controller support figured out. It, ha it has uh, thus far failed to work for me with my Xbox One controller. And I knew it was still being patched, so I just decided to wait for it. And it's been a while and still just not recognizing it, so... Three versions later, I'm just gonna bite the bullet. I got, uh, got Joy to key, and I'm gonna use that. I don't know how much of a difference it will ultimately make. It looks very nice from what I tested of it, though. Rayman Redemption being a, uh, a fan-made remaster. And I guess, I think it's like an, also an expansion to the original Rayman, which we did play on this channel. There's the medicine. Long time ago, we played it on the original... Well, we played it on a PS2. On the PS1 disc. So, you know, it looks blurry and gross. So it'd be nice to have uh, better footage of it, and also I, I'm just I'm just curious about what the the fan remaster was is like, what features and have been added, what things have been changed. All right, so I got the medicine. Now I'm going to the uh, going back to the beat the sand town, Mito. Mito. Dodo. Do, re, mi, fa, so, do. La, lado. Tito. Dado. I, I really want those to just be the names of all the Kakiri kids. Oh, who was ill? It was the, the, the kid had the ill person. No, you, you tell me about the aisle, the raft. Who's sick? Y'all need medicine? You sick? No, you just your your errors, friend. Oh, you're you're the you're the life lady. I don't need life, but I will come in. Hello. Sick. You're the magic. Well, I could use a little bit of magic, I guess. I miss my magic. Hello. Was this a three-wide town? Oh, it is. Okay. Hey, lady. I got your water. Teach me magic. Where's the... I don't get to meet the daughter? This can't be your daughter. Borrow the power of the fairies. Okay, this is a good spell to have. This can uh, functionally replace jump in this version. It's a little more expensive, but... I can turn into a fairy. And I can press A to cancel out of it, which is not a feature of the original game. That's new. I would argue that's probably the most game-changing 
change. Because there are things that you, uh, couldn't do using the fairy spell. Because you couldn't change back. You can't slay monsters, you can't, uh, pick up items as a fairy. And the only way to change back is to enter another room. So if there wasn't another room to enter, you couldn't, uh, you couldn't really make full use of it. Okay, what am I doing with fairy? What, what's here in the, in the king's tomb? There's some kind of mystery, I'm sure. I don't think being a fairy will solve it. Oh. I pressed A to, uh, to skip the, the dialogue, and it changed me back. I think there's, like, a hidden panel in the graveyard, but I really don't want to comb this. What can I do? What can I do now? Can I do anything that I couldn't before? Now that I have fairy? I need to get to that temple for the raft at some point, but I don't know how to get there. And I can't recall anywhere I would have needed fairy to access that I've seen that I haven't been able to yet. And I still can't look it up because my internet is still dying. Is, is this karma? Because I looked something up the first time? Oh, no! No! Man. I just wasted all of my magic trying to use life and failing. Or heal, in this version. Wow, there's a lot of fireballs in this... this desert. Or whatever they are. Octorox? Sand? This went back to the... This went back to Death Mountain. Hello, Mango. My internet has been exploding today. I started streaming at exactly the wrong time, and I keep going offline. Also, I'm a little stuck. I just got the fairy spell, and I don't know what to do with it. I mean, I know what it does, but I, I'm not sure uh, where to go at this point in the game. This fucking guy. Go to a dungeon and hope it's the one with the fairy usage. Well, I don't know where, uh... I don't know where any temples are. Except for the one south of Mido on the island. And I don't know how to get across the water. I don't know the cave that goes there. I also don't know what to do at the king's tomb. I know there's something. That guy. Right down there. Oh, no. Even if you're standing still, they they spawn. They're on a timer. I thought they only spawned if you moved. Alright. Uh, Zelda 2, King's 
tomb. Okay, so there was a guy in Mido who said, Oh, Error knows things about temples, so I guess what I should have done was walk all the way back to whatever town Error was in and talk to him, and he would tell me of a secret tunnel to the south of King's Tomb. All right. See, I would have figured, well, I already, I already talked to Error. He's not going to say a different thing since I talked to someone else now. <laughs> Apparently there are NPCs with changing dialogue. Depending on flags. Oh, that just goes back out again. All right, to the right. Here's the fairy part. When I found out about, when I first saw this spell, I had assumed he, the implication was that he like uh, summoned a fairy and the fairy went to like go places for Link. But you can access rooms using it. I, God damn it. So I, I have since learned the idea is that Link himself is, I think, turning into a fairy. Which is an odd thing to picture. It's not something that really happens in later titles. It has also led to some interesting artwork of Fairy Link. Well, that was all of my life on that 100 XP. They do call Link a fairy boy. That that's also kind of odd. Given that it's more more of an elf. I guess the Highlands are elves. Well, there goes all my EXP. It's just odd that they would uh, call people from the forest fairies when there's clearly an actual fairy floating right next to him. What is this, a Super Salphos? He's got like a little helmet. He's got a Varg Skeletor helmet. Well, I'd like to I'd like to explore these blocks, but uh, there's Ghibli things coming at me with knives. Just popping up out of the ground. So I guess I will not have the opportunity. Come on, break it. Link, please. Oh, I wanted to heal before that. There we go. Didn't turn into a fairy this time. Of, of the Zelda 2 dungeon theme aside from the one in Smash. Oh, I'm sure there are. You mean like more on YouTube? I wonder if Smooth McGroove has done this song. I found out he did a... Uh, he's got a one-winged angel. Is making the rounds again. 
It was recommended to me now that uh, Sephiroth is out and everyone is looking for One-Winged Angel remixes. Come on, Mr. Nightman. I don't need to be fighting these guys. I just... I'm greedy for the XP. Feels like Smooth McGroove kind of hits his peak like seven years ago and then took a break for a good chunk of time. I don't know. It's just every now and again I look up something he's done, and he's done like almost everything in acapella. I mean, every, every really significant piece of video game music anyway. I did check to see if he had a... Uh, li li Liberi Fatale, and he did not, but uh, someone else made an acapella of that. Oh no, there's a roof, there's like anti-cheese. I can still do it, it's just a little tighter. there's an intended strategy for those guys. It kind of seems like, uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Short of doing what, uh, what I'm doing, you just kind of have to hope, because you don't have enough time to, like, really read them and react. Oh, no. Oh, no! Stop spawning! I'm gonna die in here. Oh, there, and there's nothing. Great. Well. There goes all of my life. Well, all my magic and most of my life. And now I just have to very carefully walk across this room to the other side again. I say before immediately taking damage. Why there gotta be two of them doing this? Got any Christmas Day plans? Uh, no. I mean, we do have a we do have a stream planned. We had something planned today, but uh, Jack had something come up for Christmas Eve. So he had to run off, and we'll do our Christmas stream tomorrow, probably. I feel like I want to wait on that one. Do I even have an extra key? My family's having a get-together, but uh, I opted out. I, I can skip a year. I don't have enough for jump. I'm gonna die to this guy. Oh, they boomerang? Is it gonna be a friend stream? Uh, no. I was thinking about doing a, a group stream sometime soon. It's just, again, Jack has had very few days off and now one of them has been just doing family stuff, so. I got, uh, I got Among Us and I haven't played that yet, so we could do at least one stream of that with people, I suppose. Oh no, I can't cheese this guy. I could, I could steal his, uh...
That took too long. Alright, use my heal, get my magic back. Full life, full magic. I gotta... Oh, I need the upstab for this. Can I not even do this yet? I have no way to uh, break those blocks. Easy to stream and chat with friends, just gotta remember to mute yourself. But that's kind of what I was worried about with it, though. That kind of defeats the purpose of streaming. If you can't talk during it because, you know, you don't want to give yourself up as the imposter, or whatever the case. It was a similar issue we had with the uh, town of Salem, which we did videos in that a while ago. Oh, these guys! And I have no keys. Link is out of key. I guess I need to go this way. Oh, this is the temple. It has a little outdoor part. That's convenient. That's what I needed. But what if? Oh man. I thought maybe I could go over there and there'd be like a secret, like a warp room, like in Mar Mario. Something tells me I'm not going to get the upstab here in this temple. Which would mean I will have to come back here to go down that other path. Assuming I need to go down that path if, like, the dungeon item is there or something. I don't like rooms with lava. No! And that's why. At least they put that little that little safety block block there. For the part where you fight the knight. And all EXP is gone. Boy, I'm just never going to level up again. Oh, where was I? All the enemies are back. Uh-oh. This is Temple 3 of 6. Plus the the Great Palace. I haven't talked about the story of this game at all. This is probably the most bizarre Zelda game in terms in terms of story. Which is arguably saying a lot. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, no. Please, have, have mercy.
could just cheese it. Who cares? Nope. Okay, I came that way. I got the key. Uh, so Ganon is not really involved in this game's story. I mean, there's the threat of, I guess, his followers are trying to resurrect him is the main plot. But the way we got to this has to do with, like, uh... It has to do with uh, Zelda having a brother who found out about the Triforce and just was a little shit and he said, I want it, and she wouldn't give it to him. And so she got a wizard to curse her and put her to sleep. I think the story is he actually decided against it at the last second and the wizard went through with it anyway. So now the, the brother, is, the prince is gone. The evil wizard or whatever is also gone. And Zelda's asleep. And so all the bad guys are gone at the start of our story. It's just the Ganon followers. Man. It's just the Ganon followers trying to resurrect Ganon. And Link can reawaken Zelda by getting the Triforce pieces from the six palaces, which are guarded by... I don't, I don't think they're the forces of Ganon. I think they're the, they're the forces of Hyrule. Like, this game is about Link having to proof, prove himself to Hyrule. And even the final boss is not like a Ganon minion. It's Dark Link, which is a, a form that, uh, like, a Hy Hyrule wizard creates as Link's final test. Why is this guy such a shit? Well, I got the raft, at least. I'm sorry, I, I had bloodlust. I wanted to get him. Wow, that guy's only worth 150, while the red... The red club guys are worth 300. That seems, uh, that seems a little unbalanced. I should buy a pie. That'd be nice. Well, I could have a Christmas dinner, but I could, uh... I'll go buy a, go buy a Christmas pie. Oh, uh, what is, what is that? I can't, I can't block the top ones? That was an, that was an unpleasant height for that guy to appear at. Okay, so I might have to, you know what? I might have to leave with- I think I have to leave with the raft, because I don't have the upstab. I can't go down that other path that presumably leads to the boss. So I'm gonna have to go- I'm gonna have to go use the raft, go to the other continent, and, uh, just come back. This is like a randomizer element. Who, whoever heard of having to stop a temple and come back later in a Zelda game? Isn't this a randomizer? No, this is not a randomizer. This is my first time playing the regular game. It is the Redux version, which is a fan mod, which is meant to make the game more accessible. 
fix some of the quality of life issues people had with the original. So this is just uh, regular Zelda 2 with some polish, and I've never played it before. I actually had it as a kid. I just, I just never spent more than like five minutes on it. So this is my first time playing it in earnest. And it is more my type of game than the uh, top-down Zeldas. Just because it's got more of the... You have more control over Link. There's, like, sword play involved. I like that bit of having a more uh, dynamic combat system than the top-downs offer. Even though the 3D Zeldas aren't really that dynamic. I wonder how, uh... I, I, Skyward Sword has uh, motion controls, I know, are heavily involved with the combat in that game. And people seem to like it for the most part in Breath of the Wild, so I'm curious what uh, those two games are going to be like. How in-depth the combat is. Compared to, you know, like Ocarina, where it really wasn't... And Wind Waker, where it was just... It was quick time events. Was the only... The only real unique thing about it. Oh, hello. Wait, I can't hurt you? Why can't I hurt you? Do I need to... Do I need to downstab? Is my sword just too weak? I can, can I... I don't think I can hurt the spiders. Oh, these are boos. Okay. Wow, the other continent sucks. Everything here is going to kick my ass. Watched a Let's Play of Skyward Sword like eight years ago. It was kind of neat, I guess. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really looking forward to Skyward Sword. I very strongly don't like motion controls. But I know it's got good lore in it. This music was not in the original Spooky. Oh, yes, this is the... That's the overworld. Not the overworld. I guess the... The combat music from the Famicom Disk System version. Which is what it was released for in Japan. Before being downgraded to a regular NES game in the West. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, tr I'll sure try, lady. Who are you? Jerry Seinfeld? You have the sacred boots! You can walk on the ocean! Thanks, Jerry. Yes, I need more magic. Give me your magical healing hands. I can't help you! Great. Thirsty, huh? Oh, okay. Good at light sound life advice. Going to the temple? Don't be afraid to jump into a hole. Lady, it was right down the street. It was less than a block away. You were literally the closest house in the village to the water fountain. Why am I turning into Christopher Walken? This magic will make your sword shoot fire! Okay, great. Can you teach me how to stab upwards? I think this was changed somehow. Because the fire spell is kind of useless in the regular game. I would assume it was made more powerful in some way. It's very cheap, obviously. Ooh, 
No, I'm all, I'm good. I'm full on life. Learn from the sage in Darunia before you go to Maze Island. Hello. What's with the enemies in the houses, Mango? Do you remember? Do I have to have the, the spell spell for them or something? Welcome to Naburu. Okay, we're on continent two. Maybe my fire can... Yeah, my fire hurts the bugs. Slightly. They still take a long time to go down. These are tough bugs. Good EXP, at least. I don't think those are in the original, either. The, uh, the bugs? I guess I need to, uh, do I need to hit him in the eye? No, my, I, my regular sword is just too weak. I need the fire. I might actually level up at least. That'd be nice. The monsters in the houses. Oh, okay. This looks like an item cave. Oh, it's a scorpion. Hello, how strong are you? How? Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't block the fireballs. I'm also missing the, uh... There's a reflect spell. Oh, I'm all the way back here again. I'll take a swig. While I autopilot down the paths, they're safe. It's magical, uh, enchanted Hylian paths. Non-alcoholic soda pop. I got uh, I got eggnog coffee. It's a bad coffee flavor. Don't get eggnog coffee. I can see it being okay in a specialty drink, maybe once, but uh, I got like eggnog flavored coffee beans. No bueno. What's in this cave up here? Where does this go? You. Well, you guys ain't nothing. Uh-oh. Never had eggnog in my life. Yeah, you're not really missing out. You know what? I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna shield, and I'm gonna fire. The fire hurts him. Fire seems necessary for a lot of the- I wonder if that's new. The need to use fire on uh, a lot of these Continent 2 enemies. Oh, I did the I did the fast forward by accident. I didn't want to do that. I got knocked out before I could even get the XP. Oh, I could use the fairy, but I'm not gonna get it. I'm gonna get monsters instead. This, this has levers, this desert, and blue octoroks. 
Ooh, I don't like these Octoroks. I don't like these levers either. I, I don't even know where I'm going. There's a new town up ahead, so that's good. Go in the water. Yeah, get out of here. Stupid octopus, don't you know you can't swim? Oh, come on! Now bubbles? Why is Link so vulnerable to bubbles anyway? This is the Fallen Hero timeline. Everything has gone to shit. Hyrule has uh, not only acid rain, but acid bubbles coming from the ground. Very dangerous. Oh, okay, great. This is Darunia. Hello? A temple lies to the far east of... Okay. Great. Thank you, wall. The river monster hates all noise. False walls in the temple. Oh, okay. How, how do these people know this? Is this like a worship temple? They go there on Sundays? The kids play with the false walls? Save your town from what? I'm looking for a wizard. Y'all got one of those? Alright, so that's the lady that wants the child back. I, I want that swordsman. He can teach me how to thrust. Can anyone show me how to thrust? Up. Oh! Oh, that's a bat lady! Why does she want me to save Hyrule? Well... This town will be much easier to get back to once I have the Pegasus boots, or whatever they're called in this... this Zelda. Gotta go all the way across this stupid... bubble path again. That bubble almost killed me. There's a temple to the far east of Naburu. This is Maze Island, I believe. Why did they want me to go to Darunia? No, they wanted me to speak to the wizard from Darunia first, which I haven't. But the lady's child is here. 
I gotta save the lady's child. Oh, it's a lizard man. Half lizard, half man. Oh, hello. Just hanging out in a cave? What a precocious scamp. Well, that was easy. So that's a temple, but I guess I should come back here after I talk to the wizard. Which means I have to go all the way through that mountain pass to get to Darunia again. Oh, that's a Dodongo. No, thank you. I don't want. I don't want to cast fire and fight you. I don't want to fight any of these things. I don't like any of these encounters. They're all kind of gross. Across the stupid, the bubble platform. I hate this mountain pass. It's awful. At least the Octoroks don't really put up a fight. The bubbles, however. Lady, I found your child. Do you have a child? This your kid? Ah! Lady, you know what? Come here. You. Piece of shit. And we're offline again. I'm a what? Wait, finish your sentence. I'm going to assume it was something nice. And take my wizard reward. Okay, there's the there's the reflect spell. Which is a very specific spell. It's not that widely use useful. Powerful swordsman lives in this town. Do I need to, uh... Do I need to get on the roof? I feel like I remember something to do with, like, the chimneys. But I can't look it up because I'm offline, so let's give this a shot. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, let me in your chimney! I have gifts in exchange for sword techniques. Oh, I was right. So you were supposed to jump across those roofs to get down this chimney. Hey, it is the Christmas stream. Teach me to thrust. Why are you hiding? Share your thrust with the world. 
Trust ain't nothing to be ashamed of. I wanted, I wanted to get a freeze frame of the thrust of the majesty. What? 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 Ha! What? Ha! All right, now heal me with your magic healing medicine hands. It's my special medicine. What, what, do, what do you revive me with? Is that also medicine? And for the final time, across the stupid... It bounced on the bubble! That had knocked me back. Would have been another death. It's also almost a death. Anything near water or lava is incredibly dangerous. Let me out of here. I just want... I want to go back to the place that has the... Wait, what am I going to? The temple. I want to go back to the temple. I mean, I don't really, but... I have to. Wow. Those guys are damaging. So through the cave is how I will get back to Maze Island later. Come here. Come on. Coochie coo. -coo. You gargoyle bastard servant of Dargor. Alright. Oh, the temple I was just at was all the way on the other continent again. Where's, where's your healing lady? I need her. I still have the water? I thought I gave it to her. One of the towns should should have a healing man. Why is it why is it always got to be a lady? Oh, Link, I see that you're hurt. Come to my house so that I may heal you with my magic healing hands. Ah, you're revived. slow doing that. Up thrust is better. Thrust, thrust, thrust. Oh, that's right. This is, a, this is an encounter map. I guess that was obvious. And away we go. Back down from the King Grave place. These enemies seem so quaint now. They're 5 EXP. It's cute. Stupid damage like that. 
against an easily avoidable enemy. Ah! Fairy. Yes, fairy. That's a good thing to get just before a temple. Doesn't fill my magic, though. Do they fill magic in Ocarina? I don't actually remember. The game was so easy compared to this, it was never really a it was never really a factor. I remember after I got the uh, first edition cartridge, I uh, gave my of Ocarina of Time. I, I gave my original one to a friend. Actually, it was Road Rocket who showed it to his friend and called bullshit on my having a save file with zero deaths on it. I didn't think anyone thought that was hard. Because it doesn't it doesn't even count. Like, if you have a fairy and you get revived, that doesn't count as a death. You have to get a proper game over. And do, do people get game overs in Ocarina of Time? I mean, statistically, people do, but... It just seems like such a... such a forgiving game. Certainly, at least, that... Having no death shouldn't be that surprising in it. Are we back? The chat is back. I don't really want to fight this guy. You know what? I'm gonna jump. I want to jump. Yeah, I'll jump. Go ahead and jump! I, mean, I don't like downstabbing these guys on these platforms, though, because that happens. Okay, I'll take that. Will I actually level up without, uh, without dying this time? Ow. Ow! Now, where was the path that I couldn't go down? I don't think it was this way. I think I had to go left and then down again first. God, they, why are there so many? Oh, they just keep coming. I should have, I should have, uh... Should have used a shield for this room, is what I should have done. Down here and then right. Can't beat me, Mr. Red Skelton. This guy, however, can be annoying. There we go. I'm I'm so close to actually leveling up leveling up. Unfortunately, I've got this guy of all guys. Oh no, I don't have enough for jump. I got to do it the hard way. Yeah. No throw. I don't have enough for anything. I just I got I got to play it well in this room. do I get through this? Do I take the bottom first? Oh no, that guy can throw stuff! That's right! I hate this. This is awful. <sighs> At least I start over from the beginning of the temple, not the... not the main... the st starting point. I'm not all the way back with Sleeping Zelda. I should be I should be using fireballs. I bet those affect guys that aren't affected by sword beams.
Wasn't that a red guy last time? Or am I thinking of a different room? Oh, I was so close to leveling up too. I, I should have I should have gone back out and grinded a little bit. Instead of trying the hard guys. I wasn't hard enough to hang with them. Any any speedrunners watching this must be tearing their hair out at how much EXP I have lost this stream. I've only leveled up, like, what, once? The entirety of the time I've been streaming? An hour and a half now? Oh good, we're back online again. What? Here we go, fire. This is a good opportunity. No! Man, even my, my cool second continent spell isn't gonna help me. And this is the easier version of the game. This is the fixed one. All right, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna use shield in this room because this room sucks. Actually, I'm also gonna use fire because that will be good for these guys. I think I will enjoy having fire against the... Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's it's just been doing this the entire time today. Okay. Well, I'm back here again. I have enough for heal. Do I save it for jump, though? A magic drop would be great. That would help me a lot. Instead, I'm just gonna lose some more health to this guy. And have nothing to fight the knights with. That sounds like a good plan. I can't. There's nothing I can do to just get rid of that guy. no collectible I can get to help me. He's just always gonna be there. Maybe I can, uh... I thought maybe I can get it so that he doesn't really, he doesn't spawn. Okay, I have enough for shield, too. I, I just gotta push this guy to the right so the blue guy's off screen. Off screen. No. Get back! You! Fu you piece of- Get back, I say! I made it through somehow. I have zero magic. Two hearts. Which is also featured there. Oh, this is the boss. I guess I was going to the boss. I knew that. Two hearts and no magic against the horse mount? Yeah, it's the horse mount guy. I'm now down to a single hit. Come on. Come here. Hello, Darian. Uh, still struggling. I haven't gotten as stuck as the previous stream. Come on. How long ago did you start? Uh, hour and a half now. Ah, there it goes, there it goes. Alright. Let's try that with full health and magic this time. I'm gonna venture a guess that fire won't re won't affect him, but I'll try anyway. Nope. Come on. So Jack and I were uh, planning to stream today. But uh, he had something come up at the last minute, so. He's off. I'm doing this, and we're planning to do a Christmas stream tomorrow on Christmas. Yeah. 
and now he's just a normal guy. Oh, is his shield reflecting my fireballs? Is fire a, a, a bad thing in this particular match? Think, think, think. Come here. Stop going off screen, asshole! Get over here! There we go. I, I have died a lot and have not gotten... I've gotten one legitimate EXP level up over the entirety of the past 90 minutes. What magic or do I want to save up for uh I have been low yeah, yeah I'll, I'll get magic I've been running low on magic at this point all of the uh, all the spells are gonna be useful but even that was a free level up because I cleared the cleared the palace that wasn't an exp level up Okay, so I made it to Continent 2 this stream. I had to go there, get a thing, and come back in order to complete that temple. Which is a big thing to expect from someone on an NES game. Granted, this was one of the first NES games that you could actually save. It was a novel feature at the time. A Zelda 1, I don't think you could. I think you had to do it in one sitting. Don't quote me on that. But the, uh... They had, like, gold cartridges to signify NES games that had a save battery in them. And they wanted you to, like, hold the reset button while saving so as to not damage the game. However that worked. I want that. I think you'll beat the game this stream now. That was Temple 3. I know where a fourth one is. Actually, I can go do the fourth one because I, I got the I got the wizard in Darunia that I was supposed to talk to. So maybe I'll go straight to uh, I'll go straight to Temple Four of six. Zelda One has passwords, I think. A lot of NES games had passwords. The the like a proper save feature was what what was rare. What up? The, the NPCs turning into enemies is the most bizarre feature, quote unquote, of this game. Because it's like, it's try it's discouraging you from talking to people. And yet, talking to people is necessary in order to get the clues you need to progress in the game. It's very mixed messages. Like, hey, talk to NPCs, but don't do it too much, or you might get attacked. Better remember what they told you the first time, asshole. Thrust. Oh, I got both thrusts, too. Alright, where am I going? I am going to Maze Island. I think Simon's quest would be the one to pull that stunt. Uh, what, having saves? Or having to, like, go back? I know Simon's quest, similar to Zelda 2, is also considered a, uh, kind of a black sheep of the Castlevania family to a lot of people. Mostly because of the, the difficulty, right? Like, Simon, Simon's quest is really, really hard. And it's also, uh, 
That has, like, NPCs you talk to as well, right? Oh, NPCs attacking the player is also a thing in Simon's Quest. Okay, I got sword beams. That's a good thing to have. I say that, I'm gonna jinx it by saying that. Oh, that, okay, there's those things. What are they called? They're the... The... I, I know the name. The red... Tektites. Is that what they're called? I think the, the spiders were also in Ocarina of Time. But much less dangerous in that game. Everything was less dangerous in that game. Oh, alright, great. Free magic upgrade. Been playing a Newgrounds game called Friday Night Funkin' a bunch lately. It's like Stepmania Osu and Parappa had a baby. Oh, okay. There was one Flash game I was considering doing a stream of at some point. And it's a very innocuous one. It was on Newgrounds and it was called uh, Mushroom Tower Defense. Oh, that doesn't reflect! Man! I thought for sure that'd reflect Dodongo fireballs. And it looked like- it looked like a normal, you know, like, shitty mobile flash game. But it was just a, a, a solid, fun little tower defense that I, I actually put a good amount of time in. Because it was just well designed and I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know if it'd be worth two hours, though. So unless I'm missing some critical a component, my sword does not actually affect the spiders, and I need the fire spell in order to damage them. Oh, hello. It's, a uh, uh... What's the name of the enemies? The, the little flying dudes in Mario 2. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't play a whole lot of Newgrounds games as games. There were a couple. Not not a whole lot, though. I remember a couple of them. The ones I played most had to do with, uh... Had to do with making contraptions to guide balls and things. It was also like a... What was it? It was, on, it was on Hasbro or something? There was a game... A Flash game on what what seemed like an, like an educational site. But it really wasn't an educational game. It was just like a, It was like a Lego... Not even Lego. It was called Whizball. And you would uh, build contraptions and custom levels to get uh, a ball to exits. I like getting balls to exits. That, that was most of the Flash games I played. And it was a really in-depth thing that had its own full community. It had level editors. It had a level editor. Oh, barely. It had a lot, just a lot of stuff you would not expect for a game like that. Just a dinky little Flash game. On a, no on a nothing nobody site. I don't like this room. This room has lava. And it has the boomerang guy. Are you gonna come alive? No, you're gonna give me free magic. Thank you, Mr. Statue. You know what? I don't want to jump across this room again. Let's just do this instead.
Remember back in the early 2000s, Cool Math used to be a legitimate site with math-based Flash games. And now it's just a dump site for virtually any Flash game. We didn't really have those when I was a kid. It was a little before the time of uh, educational online games. We barely had internet. I remember... Uh, my computer lab teacher had a couple games he would he would let us play. One of which was uh, Win Bolo, which was the Windows version of Bolo, a DOS or Macintosh based uh, little tank game. With a big focus on uh, land play. I don't like how this is looking. I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna shield. Uh, did I use shield? I think that's why I'm red. I think I shielded. I'm just gonna go through the door. Screw this guy. I don't need your approval. I got the Pegasus boots. And that was also a game that had a, uh... It had the ability to make your own maps. I've always been big on games with the uh, the ability to make your own levels, just ar architect things. Come back. I, I want to. I want to kill you. I remember you be being worth a, a little bit of eh, twenty. Another lava room with another boomerang guy. I don't like this. No, sir. No, sir. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Bye, idiot. Hey. Hey. Hey, come here. Hey. He's not going to go for it. Hey, skeleton man. Ha, <laughs> idiot. See, in the normal game, I would now not be able to get this key because I'm stuck in Fairy, and the only way I could get out of it was by going back to the entrance. But in Redux, I can do that. I now have no magic, and I have to get past the uh, Boomerang Club guy. And there I go. Nope! Oh, I did it! Great! That's Peachy Keen. I'm taking every hit now. I'm, I'm doing bad. I don't like these guys being in a room like this with lava! Down to my last life. This seems like another good room to ferry in. So I'm going to do that. I am abusing the hell out of this spell. Turning this into a completely different type of game. There we go. Oh god, why is Reflect so expensive? For a spell that's only used to deal with these wizard guys. It's only good for fighting clansmen. Ah, man! Slimes, man. What's in this room? Is it another key? I'm so over these lion head dudes. Let's go down here. It's a little slower. But I can deal with these dudes more directly. There we go. You see, you just jump. Yeah! Use a shield for good measure.
As long as they spawn at the same consistent height, I can just ru I can rush them with the shield. Again, very nice in this game that the shield is automatic. So this temple was strange in that the item was on the right, which I already got. I already got the boots. Oh, he's, he's got to jump out. That's how I get that. There was a there was one locked door I didn't go through. I think it's here. Yeah. Do you go to the boss? Where do you, where do you go, locked door? You go to another key and a red dude. Piece of shit. No. I wish to kill this guy without getting hit, and I took a hit. I took two hits. in this room? Is this a dead end? It's gonna have more of the... No, it doesn't have more of the lion head guys. I'm appreciative of that. <sighs> I can't fire. Fire doesn't affect those guys. Ow! <sighs> These dudes that I can't... Uh, I can't shield against. They're just the worst. Got another key I'm sure I'll need. I wonder which temple I get the uh, skeleton key in. Maybe that's not a temple item. Probably don't have enough for heal now, but oh, I'm so close. I, I just need to kill the one more anything. Well, anything but these idiots. Oh, do I have enough for reflect? I do. Oh no. What? The wrong way, Link! I'm never gonna level up again. Don't judge me. You have no right to judge me. And I need one more. I need another key. I didn't expect that to work. Usually the, uh... Usually the default settings for uh, the rewind does not go back far enough to really save you from anything. Again, this is a really nice uh, emulator, this Misen. It just got everything by default in a really good, uh, in a really good setup. Which I've never seen from any emulator ever, so it's very refreshing.
Oh, they take more than one. They take, they take several hits. That's a lot of hits. I don't like that at all. And they're gonna knock me into the lava. This is one of those rooms. You know what, that's fine. I'll take it because I got the level up. Now where was I? Oh, I don't remember. This temple's so deep. They're worth uh, good EXP. The wizard dudes. I went this way, and I went down because I had to get another key before I could go left. Wizard guy, where'd you go? Hey, wizard! Come here! I got a balloon for ya! He's gone. He, he left. <sighs> That's so many hits for those guys! I'm tempted to ferry, but even if I did, they would uh, be appearing in front of me. Is that it? Is that all of them? I'm gonna ferry back, because I'm a PB, pussy bitch. <gasps> they're, they're back again! Oh, I hate this! I hate this! Okay, I can follow this one, and he won't reappear. Okay. Now, I can go left up here, right? I think this was where the locked door was. Love having down thrust. No, this isn't where the locked door was. This is a block room. It, they are very similar to the Medusa heads. Actually, I was thinking... Uh, I was thinking Kid Icarus. Come on. Do your stupid racist magic. They do look like clansmen, but with crosses on their hoods. So it's like a weird cross between a clansman and a crusader. It's a very unsettling design for what I, I think they're the whiz robes of this game. Ow. Oh, there's more of you? I should have used shield. Real time strategic action. All right, who's the, oh, it's the wizard boss. Okay, well that's uh, easy cheesy. This is the strat. Yeah! Thrilling, dynamic gameplay! Spray and pray! But with the enemy's attacks! 
Good fight. Idiot. Man, that whole temple, and I was only halfway. Less, not even halfway to leveling up. It's the Grand Dragon of the KKK. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't, wasn't much of a fighter. He was just kind of a blowhard idiot. All right, well, I got, oh. I got the boots. I can walk on water now. God dang Jesus. Damn it, dang old. Except this piece. I can't walk on this piece of water for some reason. I'm forbidden from walking down from this tile. Alright, well. Now. I can freely avoid enemies. Because enemies cannot swim. That's another temple. Hmm. Do I want to go straight to another temple? Oh god, I just saw the channel. There's so many stream notifications. <sighs> what temple is this? It's a green one. I'm not Jesus enough to walk on open water. I am, though! I can walk across the ocean just fine. Just, you know, not the, not the whole extent of the ocean. I'm a little bit Jesus, but I'm not a marathon runner. But if Jesus was in better shape, he could have he could have he could have crossed the uh, crossed the Atlantic. Although, if you ask the Mormons, apparently he was in America. Come on, come back. Ow! I don't remember what the max level in this game is. I want to say it's nine for each of the attributes. This room is evil. This is a, a nasty room. Okay, I made it through. Could Luigi walk on water in Mario 64 DS? I, I can't say I remember that. Also, don't forget, Moses, uh, Moses did not part the... Moses parted the sea with Beyblades. It's a very important part of the lore. For all we know, Jesus uh, walked on water by casting a Yu-Gi-Oh spell card. Oh, can I hit you? How much EXP are you worth? These are the uh, non-racist variants of wizards. They're, they're just wizards. They throw fireballs. They hate everyone equally. They're not very effective fireballs. It's more like uh, just tossing a Molotov at Link's feet. They're speedy, though. I wonder what these enemies are called, because I think the other ones were called Wizrobes. Good EXP, 200 each. Luigi could do that, he had to get a running start, and he had, he'd be able to run like 10 feet under the water. No, oh, okay. That sounds like a better idea. Do these fall? They do not. Okay, so now that they've been stacked up, they are safe to traverse freely. Gravity only applies for a, a brief stint of time. Oh no, not one of you guys. This guy's gonna push me back into the other map. 
There we go. Do you got magic for me? Could really use some magic. Thank you. Oh, that's a full magic refill. I like that. Ah! It turned into a wizard man! How about you eat the fire? I can't actually fire them. They are, as someone somewhat anticipated, immune to fire spells. Oh, there's three of them. I thought there were only two. Come here. Where are you? I'm fighting these guys because it is such good EXP. They're so quick to leave, though. Cast fire for nothing. Of course the fire mage is going to be immune to fire. Time for a heal. Ow! Boy, I could use that. I don't know if jump is going to make it up there, though. abusing the hell out of this newfound fairy ability that I should not have available to me. What a merciful convenience addition that was to this game, allowing you to cancel out of that. I'll save him for later. I don't need to mess with that guy yet. Hello. Oh, it's one of you guys. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's just some EXP. That's fine. I'll take it. Thank you. Apparently the wizard fellows are called Mago. Majo. Mango. Hey, Mango, you're in the game. I guess that's fitting since they're orange wizards. Oh, hello. Speaking of, maybe I can, uh, they're immune to fireballs. Maybe I can sword beam them. Maybe they're laser vulnerable. Oh, there's two now. These guys just like to multiply. Alright, where'd you go? Come here. It's very hard to fight those guys without taking a hit, at least. I did better when I had room to jump. There we go. Almost up to 3,000. Six sevenths of the way. There's the red knight. 
Oh no, not oh no, not the blue one. I don't like the blue one at all. It has to be in close quarters, man. Why why the tight hallway? Come out. I hate the kiting in this game. It's so annoying. I'm low on magic, low on health. Would like to level up. I don't think I should mess with the Red Knight. I'm not feeling confident enough. Oh, the other guys are just called wizards, not wizards. Okay. Unnecessary hit. It's all right, I guess. They don't do a lot of damage. What did I get down here? I got a key. I think. Did I get a key? Can I tell? I have one key. Two... Rupees? What is that one, two, three? I don't know what that is. This went to the EXP, and I had to go up for the locked area. The blue knights with bird heads are called Fakas. Okay. Oh, no! I don't want to go this way! No, sir! How many lives do I... I, I know how many lives I have. I think I have three. I'm gonna die if I fight this guy. I don't have enough for reflect, so that's a moot point. Wow, I made it. And now there's a red one. Less than a hundred away. Can I not die? It's the boss. Nope. Did I get the, I didn't get the item for this temple yet. There's the... There's the club throwing guy, who I know is worth a lot, but I would have to not get hit by him, like, at all. Also, do I even have enough for jump? I, I do, I have just enough for jump. If I can make it through this and get the guy without taking any damage. Yeah, like that's happening. <gasps> I did it. And he dropped a magic. No. All right, that's fine. I can heal, at least. Maybe I can get just a little bit more. Maybe I can get the blue slimes. Okay, I got I got bored quickly of that. Hello, potato anus. There, I said your name. Are you happy? Come on, one more. Give me EXP. Don't drop magic. Oh, it's only 50? I'm so close to my first totally legit level up of the stream. Ooh, ooh! I need you. Yes. Oh, attack is 5,000. I guess I did level up attack last time, didn't I? Alright. I'm leveled up. I got some stuff. Do I want to go to the boss? I should find the item but I really have no recollection of where I've been and where I haven't and where it could be. Let me over you. Let me go on this side. It's actually a little bit harder to do when I have the jump active. 
That'll do. So I, I guess I haven't gone this way or I would have seen that guy and gotten the key. Just ignore the mangoes for now. Boy, their, uh, their reduced health makes the stabbing them real easy. Alright, give me the item. Oh, it's a blue knight. Maybe I can just, uh... Oh, there's nothing? Wait, wait. This is the, this is the fake walls temple. Your mango. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna cheese it. Give me the item. Where's the item? Is it a skeleton key? Is it... What am I still missing? Have I been here before? Maybe this, uh, maybe not every path in this, uh, this particular temple is a dead end. Maybe there's, like, a circular multiple paths to take. And I just went back along a route that I hadn't yet seen. This looks like the entrance. Nope, this is a key. Okay. So I have not been here. That was a dead end, and I was completely wrong. times Jack and I are uh, planning a Christmas stream tomorrow. We were planning one today, but something came up for Jack, so. I'm doing this for now, and we'll uh, tentatively do what we had planned tomorrow. I guess I, I can mention it, it's not a secret. We're, uh, we're going to invent a beloved Christmas character and accompany accompanying rhyme with the help of terrible AI websites. So that should be fun. Why is it always the blue ones? I don't like the blue ones. I... My peepee -pee feels small in front of the blue ones. He's guarding the item. Stop kiting and come at me! Oh, it's like playing Sephiroth in Smash Brothers. He only knows how to back off. He's gonna wait for you to come at, come at him. And he's gonna throw his stupid attacks and kite! Come here. You piece of... Ah! I'm coming into your room. I got the flute. Okay, I can move the monster now. I know that does that. Watching several playthroughs of this has been very helpful to know some basic stuff about the game. I would be far more lost without that knowledge. Uh, stupid mangoes. I'm gonna die here. Nope. Goodbye. Escape. Escape! Ah! That's really how they play. Unfortunately, that seems to be the 
best way to play Sephiroth is very defensively and always backing off. Which, as you know, I'm a pretty aggressive Smash player. And I really wanted to like Sephiroth, but he's very counter my play style. So I'm having a real hard time enjoying him. Wait, isn't this the way? No, okay, I'm going the right way. I got the item. Now I'm going back this way, and I'm going to go up, and I'm going to go to the boss. And I'm hopefully going to live. While mangoes try to kill me. Oh, this had the blue knight. Uh, I don't want to fight you. I'm just going to... Yeah. No. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got time for this. What do we get? We have three temples done this stream. That's a, that's a good number. That's a lot of temples. Where's the boss? I think I gotta go up again and then right? Yeah, this is where the red guy was. I missed that red guy. He had a key. I had to use jump and get past him without taking any damage. And then he dropped magic, that piece of shit. It's fun to remember things. Okay. What am I, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna use a shield. I don't remember who this boss is. Is this the dragon? Oh, I hope it's not the dragon. Okay, it's big, dumb club dude. I bet fire doesn't work on him. No, that'd be that'd be too easy. Ow! Just gotta time your attack so you can hit Shrek in his big stupid ogre face. The most primitive Dark Souls boss. Do I still got shield on? No, I don't. Now I do. Alright, let's try this again. We got a little extra magic because I didn't use fire this time. His body hitbox feels a little deceptive. Yeah, it's not too bad once you get a rhythm. He does have a lot of HP. The dragon boss is what I'm really not looking forward to. There we go. That boss's name is Goomba. That is also, incidentally, the name of the Goomba grandmother from Paper Mario. You get another level up. Unfortunately, it only pays for as much as your cheapest level up. Also, I think if I, if I exited the temple, it would have stopped tallying up. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not going to risk it in any case. Wait, why can't I... S okay. Well, it's very weird and arbitrary what water tiles you can walk on. Is there a specific path? I think I happened to discover a specific path to the temple. That's bizarre. Nope. Can't get me on the water. Was I supposed to go along this beach? Is there anything over here? Oh, 
There's sand. I hate sand. It's coarse. It's rough. And it gets everywhere. A little EXP. Basically worthless, but now nah, I'll take it, I guess. At this point, I'm only gonna level up from temples. Uh, I can't walk on that water. Would have saved me if I could, but I can't, because that's magical. I can't walk on this water. Jesus knew exactly which patches of water he was capable of walking on. It was it was a special sight. Oh, what's in that cave? Okay, well, I can, uh... I have an idea where I go I'm going. That's... I believe five of the temples. Which would mean I have one more regular temple. Plus the great temple. I think I'm going to uh, go to town, heal up, and I'll save in front of the monster so I remember that's where I'm going to be going next time. I just gotta find the ma magic hands lady. You know what? I don't need the red lady. I can heal myself. I'll go for the G-Milf. You know what that means? It's a grandmother I would like to cuddle with. Aggressive cuddling, if fanfic maker is to be believed. Four-legged foxtrot. To, yeah, this this is a good place to save, right here, surrounded by monsters, literally on all four sides. So I'll just do it. I'll do go ahead and do that, and I'll stop here. So this is looking like it'll be three streams. Next next time, I'm pretty confident I'll, I'll finish this next time, depending on, I guess how bad the Great Palace proves to be. I've heard horror stories about uh, Thunderbird. It's just the Great Palace in general, I know, is a giant pain in the ass. But uh, Dark Link is cheesable. Not quite as cheesable as the, the, the Grand Master, but pretty cheesable. So, one more stream of this, also starting Rayman Redemption soon. Uh, Ocarina randomized, and come join Jack and me for whatever we do tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.